In this video, we will look at how to place and adjust freeze moldings. In this example, the roof has been built without the freeze molding. Let's look at the process of creating it through the Build Roof dialog on the freeze panel. On the freeze panel in the roof dialog, click the Add New option. Browse down into the library. There is a category specifically for freeze moldings. I'm going to choose the CAF2 freeze molding profile. For this molding, you can set the width, the height. There's also the option for offsets for both for horizontal and vertical. On the main roof panel, you can see that the automatic rebuild roofs is turned on. When I close this dialog, the freeze board will automatically be added below each roof plane on each wall. Through the roof dialog, you can add multiple moldings to create a buildup or offset to match your design needs. Freeze boards, once you've added them, can be customized on a per wall basis. There are a couple ways you can do this, through the roof or through the wall properties. Let's begin by looking at the wall properties for this front wall. Inside of the wall dialog, move over to the roof panel and there is an option to include or exclude the freeze board. Simply remove the check mark out of the include freeze and the freeze board will be removed for that wall automatically since the automatic rebuild roofs is turned on. The other method to turn off the freeze board through the roof properties, if we double click on the roof panel, on the freeze panel, come over and delete the freeze panel. When I close the dialog, the program is going to prompt me to turn off the auto rebuild roofs. That is because I've opened up an individual roof panel and attempted to make the change. If I turn off the auto rebuild roofs, the freeze panel is removed from that specific roof plane. Let me click undo a couple of times. Once the freeze board is placed, you may want to modify it. Let me take a look as I rotate around and peek underneath of the front porch. You can see that the freeze board has stopped where the front porch begins. I'd like to take the freeze board and pull it over so that it then meets the stone wall. If you click on the freeze board, it's not possible to select it in this particular view since that layer is locked. Let's open up the layer display options and I'm going to scroll down until I find the roof trim. Here it is highlighted and in the column you see the little lock indicator. When a layer is locked, you can't select it. So I'm going to uncheck the lock layer. Now when I come over and click on the freeze board, it's easy to click on it and pull it over until that snaps into the stone wall and once again the program is going to warn us through the automatic rebuild roofs with the generated moldings that's going to turn off this automatic tool. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes and that allows me to adjust that freeze molding. Let me move over into the floor plan view. In the floor plan view, specifically I've got the roof plan, say plan view active. I want to turn on that same layer for the roof trim. Let's come over into the active layer display and search for the trim, turn on its display and then unlock that layer. And as I zoom in you can see where that trim has extended through the porch. If I click on the trim you can also adjust it, move it, reshape it as you need to. And if I go back into the build roof dialog and rebuild the roof, it will duplicate the trim since I turned off the automatic generation option. And then I'll just delete the trim that I had modified previously. The final item I want to look at as we return back into the 3D view is the option for freeze boards for roof returns. On this sidewall you can see I have a full roof return and there's a freeze board just below the roof return. As I double click on the wall, on the roof panel, you can see the option at the top to include the freeze. That's going to include the freeze at the top of the gable wall and then towards the bottom of the dialog where it has the automatic roof return, you see that it's a full roof return and below that is the option to include the freeze. If you uncheck include freeze, that will then remove the freeze off of the lower portion and not the upper portion of the gable wall. That wraps up this video on freeze moldings. Please see the built-in help file as well as our other videos. And thanks for watching.